Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. I hope I said Mass Effect 2 last time. Um, I was just checking out the codex and I was reading about Rakana. Known as the, the Drell homeworld of Rakana, once teemed with life. I mean, I knew it's this, but I didn't realize that they had the population crash by 2025 due to uh, poor industrialization practices. So I thought that was interesting. But let's go talk to Miranda and Jack. See, last time uh, with Raven Shepherd, I ended up bringing out Thane and Grunt a lot, and it wasn't until I showed a friend after I'd finished playing, I think I like, showed a friend the trailer for Mass Effect 2, that I realized that Thane and Grunt are actually the ones that are in, like, the the trailer, or like the, yeah, so like a trailer, yeah, the, the game trailer. And I was like, oh, hey, I just, like, you could put me on that advertisement, freaking egg, just put my shepherd in there, and it'd be basically the same thing. I thought that was really kind of cool, I was like, oh, hey. It just worked, it's a really well-balanced squad, I think, personally. Shepherd, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Mm. <laughs> Butt shot! Except now I have her in power armor, so it's fine. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she Genetic deserves twin. a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. What if she doesn't want a normal life, you know? That's kind of what I thought was interesting. It's like, if she is exactly like you and is capable of all the things you're capable of, there's no way she's going to be living a normal life. Like, she's going to have abilities. Like, she's genetically enhanced, you know? Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Well, then why aren't they helping you out with the actual moving? What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving oh, the family right, right. to make sure none okay. of his agents get too close. Okay, so she wants to keep an eye My on My contact's it. name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay. So that's what she wants us to do. She just wants us to keep an eye on the situation. Um, pretty sure there's, do I, can I like fill up my, I don't think I can, I don't think I can fill up my, uh, Medigil. How may I help you, Commander? Never mind. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. We'll just stare at the back of her head for a second, it's all good. I am slightly distracted. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Let's see. Did I already come in here and hear your guys' little conversation? I don't. I hope. I don't think Ferris Fields was where his family was at. I can't remember though. Alright, let's go talk to Jack and Grunt, and then we will. Go to Ilium and perhaps do some shopping? Yeah, maybe we'll do some shopping. Oh, 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 I'm tired. I've had to go back to my previous job of uh, working 4 a.m. shifts at a pet store doing like inventory and stocking shelves and stuff. Which, you know, sounds easy. It's like, oh, put the dog toy on the shelf, but, you know, then there's, like, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of, thousands of pounds of dog food, hundreds of bags of dog food that need to be moved, so. Thanks for a tiring day. 
preferred, I definitely prefer archaeology. <laughs> uh, definitely do. And also, it was nice as I go out for a week, and then I come back, and I play a couple of the days that I was back for like six, you know, I was back for like seven days, and then I would play a little bit of video games, and I would just edit my game footage while I was out there, and I'd upload on the hotel Wi-Fi, and... So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub-deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and... Oh, I wouldn't. Board. And she's a murderer. Yeah. With biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. <laughs> Stop toying with me. <laughs> oh, she needs to. You need to be brought down a peg or seven. Oh my gosh, Jack! You look so cool! I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. I don't like the eye thing so much, but... You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. I wonder why anybody thinks it's a good idea to try to use torture to make super soldiers because I'm pretty dang sure that those super soldiers are gonna turn right back around and bite their heads off. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like a really poorly thought out long-term plan. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for yeah, a more biotic uh, power. Yeah, freaking... I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. I don't think I've ever said this before because it seems like a really horrible thing to say after that. She's distancing herself from it. She's saying a little girl, but no, she's not saying, I don't remember me crying in a cell, you know? So she's, that's, 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 that's important. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. It's true. You're more like Miranda than you know. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. Mm. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Things could have been so different if she'd have been picked up by decent people. I mean, maybe not. Maybe things still would have gone horribly wrong, but... It's just, she just says it, she doesn't even say it like she's throwing it in my face. She just says it like it's like, whatever, you know? Like, not like the, like, whatever, like the dramatic whatever. Like, she just says it. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out... Mess with someone's head enough, and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after, anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. She wants... I want to go to the Telton facility on revenge. Cardia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. <laughs> Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. 
They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? That's convenient, because otherwise we'd be in trouble. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Nah, she's gotta. There's no way. She's a hands-on person, and just leaving that in her head is not gonna, it's not gonna work. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. And to bring this to me instead of actually taking my ship and going? Of course it would be- I don't know if she could defeat everybody in here, but still. You know? So it's- it's progress. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Okay, okay, yeah. So we can't talk to anybody- I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. <laughs> I'll think about it. Now, I think once you actually initiate, um... Pickle, somebody's personal quest, that's all they talk about, which is makes sense, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Edie's over there. I, mean, I saw her name, but I didn't know that that's where she was. It's so dang shiny in here. Like, freaking, I love it. This is a nice, peaceful place. The blue light. I like it. Everything's not all orange and weird neon colors. Nope, not that. Oh, wait, get, what, what, where am I going? Grunt, Grunt's over here. <clears throat> Port cargo. I love the silver lettering. It's just so nice. Freaking. Ooh, Grunt! He's got like, like, a, like, a, like a tribal paint job on the front there. Wow. Wow, he looks really high tech. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatized. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. <laughs> the picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Uh, maybe I need context? Tanrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Oh, yeah. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war. It was the last push before the rebellions ended. Hmm. I do remember seeing several things. A couple. Sorry, Mike. The, the thing I'm drinking of right now, out of right now, I'm just drinking water. But it's like this. I didn't have my regular cup down here, so I'm having this huge glass mug thing, and it's quite loud. I can't put it down funny. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. <laughs> Maybe I had to be there. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Um... I don't... What did I... Nah. I think I did this last time, but I'm kind of curious... Or no, maybe I might have actually done this. I'll have to see. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. So, I don't think he quite gets it, because the fact that it can make him laugh is like, he's like, ha ha, yes, I understand. But it's like, he doesn't actually like, but he's getting there, right? I think he's what he said. He's, he's, I'm still trying to see where I fit. And it makes sense, like, he, 
he sees a reason to hate the Turians, but he doesn't hate them. It's the fact that it was a good battle. Like, something happened, and the Krogans retaliate. Even though they knew that they were losing the war, they got back at the Turians who killed Shiagr. You know what I mean? Shepard. Oh, I still can't do your upgrade. Um, never mind. That's all for now. Shepard. I'm not sure about the uh, the new armor that blocks their eyes. I don't really like that, but it does look cool. And it'll make them stand out more in the field, which is good. Not that I have to you know, worry about that too much, because Grunt actually looks pretty different from the other Krogan. They designed his armor to look more like a linebacker instead of like full body. He's got like the, the exposed uh, biceps and stuff. Um, that's everyone spoken to then. Um, to, I've, I've actually been really wanting to bring Kasumi and Thane out and just see how that went. Because <laughs> Kasumi's tactical cloak is actually really good. Like, I think she can get through... Oh, maybe she can't do barriers, but she can do armor. Oh, but they can't regenerate health or anything? I think I just saw that. Any... Oh, we're good? Okay. Uh, let's go to Ilium. And then we might actually go... Planet exploring. Oh, should we recruit the Justicar? And we have the Liar with the Shadow Broker thing, too. Well, let's go stop like we're shopping. I totally rushed through Liara's meeting, didn't I? I can't, I can't even, I barely remember it. That's all good. We'll get to, I think we get to hang out with her more in the uh, Shadow Broker DLC. She's only with us for that, but I do want to do that because... I've heard very good things about it, so. But I do wanna, I, I know we kinda, we kinda pick up scans for damage and stuff, but, why not? I'll bring my, my sneaky types shopping. I'm sure Kasumi would like to go shopping. Can't do anything with you yet, Thane. Freaking throw and warp. That's right. Uh, prolong prolonging his life improves his health and weapon damage. I didn't do that super great, did I? For maximum point eliminated. Let's do throw. Effective against armor and biotic barriers. Yeah, so when we get his, when we level up next, we'll get warp. Or maybe, who we might actually just, if it gets two points, I'll have to do the drill assassin thing. Hmm. Drill marksman or drill veteran, and either weapon damage or health? It's not like cooldown for his other, like for his biotic abilities? I wonder how common biotics are in drill. I don't think it's said. And I have no points. But I do, oh yeah, I do have um, the upgrade. Yeah. I have both of these fully upgraded, which means I'll get pull next, dang it. <laughs> and barrier. I'll have to maybe use that one, not right when I'm about to charge, but when I'm coming off the charge. You know, I don't know if I, that's what I did last time. I think I was playing with barrier when I went to go get Thane, and that was... That was it. So we have the sniper rifle and the mantis. Weapons are popular amongst infiltrators and assassins. Very effective against armor and somewhat effective given the shields and biotic barriers. Okay, so it is, it's, it's better. 
for sure. Then the, the Viper is better than the Mantis. Mantis has the uh, Mass Effect arc on it, though. I don't have any more machine pistols? Did I, like, miss that somewhere? Woo! I gotta go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hello! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is so odd! My ship! Ilium's a pretty cool looking place. I move so slowly. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using bionics to touch things. You're not using bionics. Exoderm. 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 Isn't that an actual product in real life? Uh, I saw a thing. I'm pretty sure there's a thing here. Yeah. Go all day. I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. He's always been at peace with himself, but I think it was sort of a, um, an isolated, like, cold, like, uh, not peace, but tranquility, almost? I don't know. But now he's starting Sort of to see, I think, to see reasons to live again a little bit. Just a little bit. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. I... Well, I guess it's not like I attack those colonies. I'm just watching trends. Whatever you say. Pardon me. Okay. Sell. Sell at 40. Oh, yeah, it's Gianna over there, too. Okay, we'll talk to Gianna. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you. You a do beer. actually. My friends will just stand around. They're actually probably sneaking what around. What brings you to Ilium? You know that you can talk about. Uh, should I say I'm on a moon? I think I was just straight up honest last time. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, shit. <laughs> For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Oh, snap. Is that real paper? Examine the beer. Has to leave Tracker saw me. It couldn't break cover. I saw a merchant smuggling schematics from Navaria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? Sure, I'll help you out again. Let's see, where is she at? She over here? A merchant. I'm looking for the best. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. Um, hmm. I think that's a question y question y question. Ah, okay. What do you sell? Type back tech and biotic equipment. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. A dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Oh yeah, Here, there's this. A discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I forgot that, that you, if you can do that before you do the, you, you, you like do this part, then yeah, you can get a discount forever. You're being watched. I want advanced merchandise. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. 
Hello, Hermia. Hermia. Harasini. You set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up wow. in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford them. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. I don't really see why they're like they're like they were like mad at her for taking a prototype device, but they actually gave her a fake one, so she didn't actually do anything wrong. So I don't know. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. <laughs> ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. And they squeal like schoolgirls. Uh, you know, hey, we aren't above a little bit of pettiness, humanity. <laughs> it must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. She's, uh, she would have made a good cop, I think, but she's also really good at this. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. <laughs> Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. Yeah. She knows how to fake it till you make it, you know? Like, she's she is good at her job. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Good, good at listening, too. Trying to figure out what's safe and what's not, you know? What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. Ah! My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. Ah! Hold me open until I have to go back undercover. Anyway. I was actually talking with somebody recently in the Mass Effect 3 video, or at the my last Mass Effect 3 upload, episode or whatever. Um, we were talking about how um, there's like there's this. I, I forgot about this one. This instance where they mention it, but we on another somebody else's personal quest that you get later. Um, Dark energy is a big catalyst for an event that's ha going to happen soon on that planet, and it's but it's never brought up again ever. It's those like I think these two instances of dark energy, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the way Mass Effect Three turns out, and it was quite disappointing because dark energy is really interesting, and it's because uh, the writer changed for Mass Effect Three. Um, and the first, uh, Drew Karpshin, I think is how you say his name, he did, the, he did one and two. And uh, he actually, I think he said once in a, some sort of interview that um, his ending for Mass Effect 3 probably would have disappointed people just as much as the ending, the actual ending did. But I highly doubt that because the Mass Effect 3 ending kind of came out of nowhere, right? But at least with the dark energy, even if it hadn't have been like as cool as we wanted it to be, at least we would have had this, you know, like like in the Mass Effect 1, right? Cerberus was just kind of sprinkled throughout it, you know? It was just these weird ragtag groups you had to take out. Dark, dark Energy in Mass Effect 2 is just sprinkled in a little bit, and then it would probably have played a big part in Mass Effect 3 if Drew Carpshin had been in charge of it. So, I'm kind of bummed about I'm actually really bummed about that, but it's whatever. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, but I didn't really spoil anything, I don't think, but if I did, I apologize. I feel like we were gonna like kiss or something there. Uh, yes, let's go shopping. I need minimal heat increase. Metagel, did I need Metagel? I have extremely high performance requirements. Uh, 
I thought I did it at one point, but I got it, didn't I? I'll get it anyway. Uh, sure. I'll get biotic damage. I don't really need that. Um, there's a couple other places we can shop. I'm pretty sure. Here's what looks like a rapid transit thing, but it's not. Eeh. That guy has some very strangely specific requirements for his suit. Oh! Listen, I know... What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Yeah. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? I know. Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. Yeah, no, their, their stuff is quite, it's quite complicated. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. You're welcome, my friend. Anyway. Thank you again. You have no idea what this means to my family. I'm, I, I, I think I, I have like a, you know, you could have like a small idea, but not, I mean, it's so important for them. Like, family is a big deal for the Solarians. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. <laughs> Not like, you know, right next to you. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. <laughs> I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Hey, Thane, you catch that? That scary lady wants to buy you a drink. She could... I don't see... It was kind of funny to me when I see, like, a sorry in, like, desk... Or Solarians, like, in desk jobs. I'm like, couldn't you guys, like, do so much more? Hey, I gotta get back to work. Okay, I don't have a seizure on me. I don't think there's anything over there. This place is so freaking shiny. I love it. Gosh, that was there anything else? Not galactic news. Yeah, good luck with that, Volus. That was me going down there, right? If this is the best you have, I'll make you. Yeah, and that's when we get down to the actual nuts and bolts of the situation. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. What? What? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. What? Is there anything I can do? Oh, no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. I thought everything was hooked up to security cameras anyway. I didn't realize this was here. This is a, a bar. I don't want to go into the bar. I want to go to the other floor where there is shopping. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest 
You got you guys talk so much. Alright. Is it it's not up here, is it? This is where Yeah, it's that's um that's why you need a mommy gel no, I. That's where Liara is up there, but there's like a whole other section. Oh, it's over there. Okay. You'll never Loser. The family's gonna be our. Yeah, they can't have kids if they don't have that, so. Oh, yeah, it's the hacking thing. I saw something to hack. Biotic neural itching? That's so weird. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Yeah, but, uh, you really want to do that? Hack, terminal, no. Weapons, merchant. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Well, why? why you, you don't sound like you're trying to sell much to me. Yes, give it to me. I don't even... This I looks interesting. I don't even care. What's this? Increases power damage. Oh, these are the cheap, cheap things. Well, sort of cheap. Okay. Using their expertise in policing dangerous situations. Policing dangerous... Uh, oh, Atlantis Risk Control Services. Create a social protection that includes an internal microcontrol system to maximize resources. Give it to me. Um, yeah, I'll take that too. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna call this here. I'll do the memories of Ilium later. <laughs> uh, I don't want the recording to get too screwed up or get screwed up at all. So, um, anyway. Thank you guys for joining me this time. When we get back, we'll continue around around Ilium, I think. So, uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.